We now have a complete skate park. Next we will create a cropped viewport and place it on a sheet layer. Then we will adjust the sheet layer page setup, set the scale, position, and visibility settings of the viewport. Switch to a top plan view. To create the crop, you can use any 2D shape. For this viewport, draw a rectangle over the skate park. With the rectangle selected, go to View, Create Viewport. A prompt will appear asking if you want to use the selected object as the crop. Click Yes. In the Create Viewport dialog, choose New Sheet Layer in the Create on Layer menu. In the New Sheet Layer dialog, keep the default settings and click OK. Set the scale to 100. Do not adjust any other settings in the Create Viewport dialog at this time. All of these settings can be adjusted after the viewport is created. Click OK. The viewport is created and placed on the new sheet layer. Now let's edit the page setup of the new sheet layer. Go to Tools, Organization. Switch to the Sheet Layers tab and click the Edit button. In the Edit Sheet Layers dialog, click Page Setup. Uncheck the Show Page Breaks option under Pages. Under Printable Area, check the Choose Size Unavailable in Printer Setup option, then select ASME D from the Size menu. Click OK to save the changes. Then click OK two more times to exit the Edit Sheet Layers and Organization dialogs. The viewport is too large to fit on our page. Let's adjust the scale of the viewport and position it on the page. With the viewport selected, in the Object Info palette, set a custom scale of 1 to 250. Now, move the viewport to the upper left corner of the page. Viewports have independent class and layer visibility settings. You can choose which classes or layers you wish to display per viewport. Let's turn off the Site class for this viewport. In the Object Info palette, click on the Classes button to edit the class settings for this viewport. Set the Site class to Invisible. Click OK. The site is no longer visible in the viewport. However, if you click on the Classes button in the view bar, you will see the site class is still set to visible in the file. Now let's create a custom 3D viewport. We will set up a custom view on the design layer, then create a viewport and apply a render mode. In the view bar, click on the Layers menu and choose Design Layer-1. Switch to a left isometric view. Using the flyover, pan, and zoom tools, adjust the view until the skate park appears similar to this. Now go to View, Create Viewport. Keep the default settings and click OK. The viewport is placed on the center of the sheet layer. Move it to the bottom right corner of the page area. You will notice the viewport is in wireframe and has a red and white border. This is the viewport out of date border. It indicates the viewport needs to be updated. We created this viewport in an OpenGL render mode. Viewports with render mode settings need to be updated anytime you make changes in the file. With the viewport selected, go to the Object Info palette. You will see the Update button is red. This indicates the viewport is out of date. Click Update to render the viewport. Now let's add a crop to this viewport. Double click on the viewport, select Crop, and click OK. In the Edit Crop window, draw a rectangle around the skate park. Click the Exit Viewport Crop button in the top right corner of the drawing area. Click Update in the Object Info palette to render the viewport. Next, let's create a viewport focused on the gazebo. Then we will add a foreground render option to give the viewport a different style. Using the Layer menu in the view bar, Switch back to Design Layer-1, switch to a left rear isometric view, and use the flyover, pan, and zoom tools to adjust the view until the gazebo appears similar to this. Go to View, Create Viewport, and click OK. Move the viewport to the upper right corner of the page area. Add a crop around the gazebo. Now, in the Object Info palette, select Hidden Line from the Foreground Render menu. Click the Update button to render the viewport.
Finally, we will create one more viewport centered on the bowl. Then we will add a foreground hidden line render option and adjust the settings. Switch back to Design Layer-1. Use the flyover, pan, and zoom tools to adjust the view until the bowl appears similar to this. Go to View, Create Viewport, and click OK. Move the viewport to the lower left corner of the page area. Add a crop around the bowl. Now in the Object Info Palette, select Hidden Line from the Foreground Render menu. Click the Update button to render the viewport. You will notice there are unwanted lines on the sides of the bowl. We can remove these lines by adjusting the smoothing angle for the Hidden Line Render mode. In the Object Info Palette, click the Foreground Render Settings button, set the smoothing angle to 15 degrees, and click OK. Click the Update button in the Object Info Palette to render the viewport and see the changes. Note that the viewports do not quite fill the page area. This can be corrected easily. Select the last three viewports we created, then in the Object Info Palette, set their scale to Custom, and then a value of 75. If any of the viewports are outside of the page area after scaling, move them back into place. With all the viewports still selected, click Update in the Object Info Palette, and all three viewports will render at once.